We're going to keep talking about weather now and climate change. It's a critical issue debated across the globe. The threat so significant, the top three Christian leaders of the world releasing their first joint statement in history this week to encourage urgent action. And today, the Biden administration announcing a lofty goal, saying solar energy could produce nearly half of the country's electricity by the year 2035. So News Nation's Aaron Nolan is live for us tonight at a solar farm. This is in Washington County, Arkansas. So Aaron, you're going to unpack what this could look like for America's, for all of our future here. Yeah, Nicole, good evening to you. A very windy, a very sunny and bright Arkansas in front of this solar farm behind me. The sun's a good thing. The wind's kind of messing with my hair. But what we're talking about is that energy report that came out today. And it talked about solar energy and the importance of that energy in order to change the footprint that we have right now. Let's go to what Gerard was just talking about. The remnants of Ida, Joe Biden earlier today, the president toured New York and New Jersey. He emphasized how climate change is causing more extreme weather events. As a result, he is looking at ways to limit the impacts. Now, today's report focuses on solar energy as the cheapest, fastest growing source of clean energy. Let's break down those numbers for you. The Energy Department says that by 2035, solar energy has the potential to power 40% of the nation's electricity and employ 1.5 million people this without raising the cost of your electric bills right now solar energy accounts for just three percent of the country's power supply but this study says the u.s would need to quadruple its solar energy every year until 2035 to reach that goal if that happens and the grid continues to quadruple its output each year by 2050 nicole it would be able to provide more electricity than is currently used by all residential and commercial buildings in the United States. But outside of that green energy, it also comes down to green. We're talking about money. The thought process here is could Congress pass tax credits for businesses that transition over to more sustainable energy? Also mentioned in the port, it wasn't just this bright sun beaming down on us, Nicole. There was also a hydroelectric and wind power mentioned as well. Back to you in studio. All right, Aaron, as you said, it all comes down to money. All right, thank you for that.